Hey there guys, this is Kenneth Wheeler from NetTechite and this is just a quick review on the Opera Mini web browser for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. And uh, this is actually something that a lot of people were looking forward to. Um, a lot of people want uh, a Safari alternative for their iPhone iPod Touch but due to some uh, restrictions in the App Store um, there aren't that many uh, alternatives to Safari just for the fact that you're really not allowed to uh, get apps that use the same functions as uh, the standard apps on the uh, App Store or some of them. I don't know I don't know how that works but apparently there was some uh, some reasoning to uh, why some apps didn't get uh, approved or some other browsers. Um, but here is the Opera Mini browser. Apple let this one slide and it is available for free on the App Store so you guys are free to get that uh, whenever you guys feel like it or if you guys feel like it. And uh, this is your home screen. This is what opens up first uh, when, uh, when you open up the app itself. Uh, this is your speed dial uh, menu right here and essentially what it is is it is uh, basically an easy way to uh, access uh, basically your uh, any website that you want you could basically add up to nine websites and put them in your speed dial and uh, this is really good if you decide to go to uh, a website more than once especially during the day if you need to you know do stuff really quick you know check email check gmail and you have to do it within a web browser you know put in your speed dial and you're good to go the loading web uh, loading web pages on this thing is actually pretty fast though uh, I think it's actually faster than Safari by a second or two um, at the at the most and uh, what's cool about this web browser is that it loads up all the text and basically saves it uh, so when you're scrolling uh, the text doesn't disappear the only problem is is that the text in this view it looks like lines on the screen right now and that's what it really looks like it is it actually does look like lines you can't really read the text but fortunately uh, for us uh, they actually included a zoom feature and you could literally view the text up close the only problem is that um, while there is zooming it only zooms in two aspects. There's the really wide aspect where you could view the whole web page, and there's just the really insanely up close and personal zoom aspect. And unfortunately, you cannot go anywhere in between. So uh, if you're a person that likes moderate zoom, uh, you really cannot do that. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that they would fix this in a future uh, update to this app, but. Uh, I wouldn't expect too much yet. So um, here's basically your web page console. You have your address bar right there. You have your Google search bar. You have your uh, the name of the page up there at the top. And you also have your main bottom console over here where you can access your settings. You can access uh, whatever pages are open, whatever web pages are open, and you could choose to add web pages there. There's also a back button, which also functions as a zoom back button, which means that uh, wherever you zoomed before, you could choose to zoom back by just clicking back. And uh, you could also go forward if you want. So here's your option uh, menu right here when you press on that ra uh, wrench. Yeah, so you could access your bookmarks, you could add bookmarks if you want. Uh, you could save pages. Basically, it takes a snapshot of the page uh, that you uh, want, and you could title it if you want and save it, and it'll open it up for you. Uh, so let's go to the uh, web pages uh, button right here. I already pressed it, and here's basically uh, that uh, what this does. Uh, from here, you could access the pages that you opened before and that are already open or you could open up new pages and uh, go to different websites and you could have multiple pages open up um, and the only problem is that um, at times you may notice that the iPod Touch may run out of memory and the web page that you have open uh, may not exactly load until you refresh it but uh, that doesn't really happen that much when after you restart your uh, iPod or iPhone as you can see here, uh, it is it is not really like CoverFlow uh, switching from Windows. 
Um, it's more like uh, wherever your finger lands, that's where, uh, or that's the window that'll open. You can also Google search, and I think you could change the search options too. Yeah, there's Amazon, eBay, Wikipedia, and uh, I think you could add some search engines if you want. I think no, no, oh. <laughs> It's kind of bad. If you wanted to add like Yahoo Search or Bing, you couldn't do that. That's kind of not cool. Um, yeah, so let's go back to the options here. I want to show you guys the settings. Uh, so here are a bunch of settings. Here's the coolest setting, I think, or one of the coolest. You have your full screen mode. And basically in full screen mode, you have a full screen browser. So uh, let's go to a web page. Let's go to Engadget. And uh, we'll just go get out of there. And this is essentially, oh, by the way, there's a landscape mode. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, and this is a full screen mode, something that Safari definitely doesn't have. Um, to bring back the on-screen uh, console, all you really have to do is press this button right here, and it brings up the on-screen console. But it, uh, right after you click out of it, it goes back to full screen. Um, let's see other options here. Um, there's an opera link. I don't know what that does. Uh, according to this, Opera Link is a free service that syncs your bookmark speed dial and search engine. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so basically what you could do is you could sign up for Opera service wherein you could sync up your bookmarks and everything to your computer. If you guys didn't read that fast enough. Um, and yeah, it's basically like, uh, I guess it's a cloud. I don't know. I don't know. Something like it. Um, basically syncs up all of that and it's pretty good if you're um, if you want to use uh, just one thing for everything one browser for everything this is pretty much a really cool thing to do um, other options here um, change the font size that doesn't really do anything if you're zooming in and out because essentially what it does is it makes the text larger which um, uh, so yeah, the text does look a little bit bigger, it's more spaced out, uh, but when we zoom in like this, um, yeah, the text gets super big, and uh, you have to scroll a lot just to read through one big web page, and that's not really good. Uh, I would leave it on small, personally. Um, you can, oh, I didn't change it. That's the other thing, um, hits, uh, taps don't really register that much. Uh, you might have to double tap sometimes, which is pretty weird, but uh, whatever. Um, image quality, I guess you could change that to make this uh, to make uh, things load up faster. I don't know if it'll uh, it will make a difference if you're scrolling up and down. Let's see if that works or changes. Um, let's see. Yeah, the the pictures still appear pixelated when you scroll. And, and that's, uh, I don't know if I said that, but that's really the only drawback when it comes to scrolling. Um, the checkerboards don't show up, but the pictures do pixelate. Um, privacy, you could clear basically your history, passwords, cookies. You could choose to accept cookies if you want. And uh, you could choose to remember passwords. Um, you could also choose mobile view, which essentially allows all of your websites to be viewed in mobile, uh, given that the website does have a mobile version. So yeah guys, um, I really do like this browser, in fact I think I prefer this browser over Safari, just for the fact that everything loads uh, particularly faster than Safari, and I think that I like the scrolling. In fact, because, you know, when I scroll, all the text is still there. Uh, I don't see any checkerboards, which kind of annoyed me. Uh, but here, I don't have that, so I'm pretty happy. Um, you also notice that, uh, again, uh, the pictures, they pixelate when you scroll sometimes. Uh, and that's kind of better than having checkerboards any day. So, uh, I personally love this browser a lot more. The only thing again they need to fix is the scrolling, I mean the zooming, which is uh, you know, pretty easy to fix I think with a, an easy update. But uh, yeah, overall this thing has a lot more features that make this so much better than Safari. Again, the speed dial, you got your full screen mode, you could save your web pages if you want. You can uh, you could add bookmarks in Safari also, uh, but you could sync your bookmarks and everything through uh, the Opera Link. Uh, you could sync everything to your browser on your computer. So basically, this browser right here, all in all, is uh, pretty much 
the best browser on the iPod Touch and the iPhone to date, uh, I think personally. And uh, I do highly suggest that you guys get this browser. Uh, so yeah guys, I'm Kenneth Leader from Tech Guide. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, I know this video is long, so thanks for watching the whole thing. And uh, tell me what you guys think about the browser if you decide to use it. And uh, if you guys have to say anything about the browser, maybe something I didn't cover, uh, go ahead, put it in the comments uh, to help out the other viewers. Uh, so yeah, guys, after watching this video, go check out the comments. And yeah, uh, that's really it. Kind of leader from the Tech Guide. Thanks for watching. Bye.